Welcome back to Silver Octagon Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating SD1's voice. So as you can see here, we're taking a look inside the head. There is an Arduino Nano, a speaker, another Arduino, and an L298N module. The L298N and the Arduino control the neck, but this Arduino Nano here controls the voice, where I've programmed, um, I think it's Texas Instruments, calculator voice it's called talkie it's the uh it's the library allowing me to create preset functions for the voice now i've designed this or programmed this to to speak the moment the robot is turned on so right now i turn it on with this power supply so right now it's on so i'm going to turn it off you see it's off so the moment i turn it on it's going to begin the program all right, one, two, three. SD1 is on. Control test is complete. Repeat. SD1 is on. Control test is complete. All right, so it says SD1 is on. Control test is complete. Repeat. And it repeats that cycle twice. Um, I was able to cycle through uh, different words. It's about a thousand words that I can choose from, and a lot of them are uh, military terms and engineering terms and uh, I just went with something quick and basic um, in no relation at all does it check any of the other systems on the robot it doesn't check any of the uh, control systems but in the future it will so alright so my next step in experimenting with this kind of program uh, giving SD1 a voice is to allow it to to speak and communicate of course but to also um give out warnings for instance uh my next project with uh sd1's head and the voice itself is to use an ultrasonic distance sensor to to um to to register that there's an object in front of it and to allow sd1 to say warning you know, along those lines, like uh, caution, um, obstruction in field of view, or give out various warning signals. And that's just scratching the surface as to what I'm capable of doing with just a basic program. Now, I am going to upgrade this to a, um, a MP3 module to where I can pre-record different phrases and sort of things like that. Now, I did uh, buy a SD card reader, but for some odd reason I cannot get it to work with an Arduino. Maybe it's just faulty, maybe I should just get a new one, but either way, it's going to happen very soon. Um, I've actually been working on the head a lot lately. Uh, I've been experimenting with uh, different cam camera modules, but I'm not too fond of uh, Wi-Fi server or Wi-Fi camera modules. I have an ESP32 Wi-Fi camera and I do not like it, so I'm going to upgrade to a, a Bluetooth camera, and which will actually fit right here. And which the robot looks kind of menacing with that speaker in the eye. But nonetheless, it's coming along. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, and if you are uh, watching this video, don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me how you feel about the robot. Give me some suggestions. Ask me anything go for it and uh don't forget to like the video subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys next time thank you SD1 is on control test.